Uh, let's talk about the 1010 Blue Box. I think that a lot of people that have seen it think that it's uh, the blue version of the black box. That is not the case. I'll put that out the way for a second. What this is is a mixer. What this is is a beatbox, groove box, sampler, drum machine, right? Same form factor, but it's a great companion. They work really well together. Uh, this is a digital mixer, and it's kind of designed with the Eurorack desktop artist in mind. I think it's perfect for beat makers who are doing mod bap, who are doing... You know, any kind of beat making, especially if you're into synthesizers, tabletop synths, um, your rack synths, samplers, and all of that stuff. And and I don't know, it feels like the first purpose made uh, mixer for the, for the purpose of synthesizers and drum machines and stuff and your rack. And being outside of the rack gives you a lot of flexibility because it has a lot more I.O. It's a dope mixer, but it's also a recorder. It's a digital recorder. So to start, let's go over this right quick. You get your two outputs, but then you have your headphones, right? So for me, I actually run all my tabletop synths, and these are three Eurorack modules right now. So one is all drums, one is a bass, and one is just some melodic stuff that I'm checking out some effects with. And then I have three more inputs there. So that's six stereo inputs. But if you use this splitter, then you get 12 mono inputs, right? So if you have six of these, you all of a sudden double your inputs, but in mono. You get your device USB, you have your power over USB, and obviously your two uh, outputs plus your headphones. So that's three outputs. And when you flip this guy over, you get MIDI in and out plus micro SD. So you have your different sections you happen to select. Uh, that's in track mode and mixer mode. You can address several of them at a time. And this is your focus area. See, those are in pink. So these four knobs correspond to that volume. You can do the same thing with panning. You could do the same thing with solo. Whatever you touch is soloed. Mute, whatever you touch is muted. Right um, there. Uh, so, and obviously you can record by just selecting like so. Uh, that's arming them and then you could go ahead and hit record. So this is dope because I mean, and then here you obviously have your main and those volumes are attached to it that way as well. guys so anyway this is a really powerful little mixer and i just want to show you this um i'm still you know getting to know it but i wanted to tell you all about it because 1010 is a dope company and uh this is something that's really really useful for like i said like i think beat makers and cats that have a lot of euro rack or may have a lot of synths and uh this is powerful and doesn't take up a lot of room i can remember having analog mixers that were dare I say 10 times the size, probably bigger. Who knows? Because this is very small. Um, easy enough to throw this in a backpack and, and go on the go with it. You have your USB power on it, and it's just flexible, really flexible. Right now, I'm just using it as a Eurorack mixer. So I have, you know, drums, uh, melodic thing, and just a drone of a bass coming out of there or into it. And, you know, I have these two going into my Apollo. So that way, all of my sort of desktop stuff and my, my Eurorack stuff is going in and just going right into the Apollo. And I can use that to sample stuff or track stuff, or I don't have to even be bothered over there. I could just record it directly on here. This uh, records at 48K, 24-bit. Uh, so you get 24-bit waves uh, at 48K, and you record down to uh, micro SD as multi-track or in a stereo mix. It's up to you. It's that flexible. So, yeah, you get touch gestures. So if I go to EQ, you can see I can control the EQ for any of the tracks. And you have different uh, EQs that you can select from. 
here. Right? Um, you have your effects, delay, and reverb. Actually, really dope DSP effects. Um, and really just being able to have delay and reverb. I kind of wish there was a couple more effects, but honestly, when I'm recording out of uh, my Euro rack, there's <laughs> enough effects going on over there that all I really need for like a mix and recording is a little smattering of delay and reverb, and those will come through on the sends. You have your edit, so you can edit your files here, uh, project, and your tools, so you have a built-on compressor and your brightness. Uh, so you can turn your compressor on and off there. And it's just something that's, it's just flexible. I didn't expect that, but it is. And so, yo, without further ado, let's go ahead and check out a little bit of um, a jam session I was having where I didn't record the stuff, but here's the, here's the pro tip, right? A lot of times if, when you get deep into your rack, you could be fiddling around for hours and not record anything and walk off and go, go to bed for the evening or whatever it might be. But with something like this, with it's not just a mixer that like I have in my rack, it's also a recorder. So you can throw all that stuff, just run it into here and record a two track or record it individually and dump it out to something else later and do some more in depth mixing. A lot of flexibility here. So yeah, let's check it out.
So, yeah, that was or is the 1010 Music Blue Box. And, you know, if I can find the time, I actually want to find a little time to run these two together and kind of show you uh, how good of a companion they are. As, as you can see, um, I have a brother-in-law and he's getting into beat making. And, um, you know, there's always the, the ideal, we idealize or romanticize the studio and going to the studio and that sort of thing. And that's dope. But everybody, uh, it, uh, not everyone is that fortunate, right? So I look at it like this. If you're a starting out producer or even if you're a producer just limited on space, it, do, it really doesn't even matter about level or level of expertise and anything. But this sort of combo changes the game. And uh, when you know like you can use something like this with your iPad, iOS apps, um, to sample things in, you could use almost any, <laughs> you could use something like this as a sound source in the sampler, pair it up with this. I mean, this little situation right here is a mad powerful combo. And I know, I mean, this is about the blue box, but I just want to kind of say how this completes a, a whole studio for you. And something that could slide in your backpack and not even make the backpack bulky. <laughs> you know what I mean, it's just kind of amazing. So anyway, I just want to show you this stuff. I may have talked too long about it, but I just want to show you uh, the 1010 Blue Box. If you're looking for a solution that's going to quench your thirst for a dope digital mixer uh, or recorder, six stereo tracks or 12 mono tracks, uh, you may you may end up with a little bit of spaghetti. But if you're in the market for something like this, I highly recommend it. Uh, because it's just a dope solution and it looks damn cool. So yeah, 1010 blue box. I'm out.